Hi everybody! So I'm on a walk because I did book club at the junior high this afternoon or at lunchtime and I ate with them and so on my real lunch break because it's Texas and it's warm enough to walk outside I decided to get my steps in uh, so I'm gonna film for as long as I feel comfortable and not awkward talking while I walk all along the street and or until I fall down because the sidewalks are not exactly level. Uh, it's Friday, so I thought I'd do a quick Friday Reads video because it's been several, several weeks since I've posted anything. Um, Lisa is working on a longer video that my sisters and I filmed together and hopefully we'll get together this weekend and film some more things because I do have stuff to talk about. But Friday Reads, uh, last week, I mean, my Friday Reads always includes catching you up on everything else in my life. Last weekend, uh, I hosted a three-day convention at my library with my teens, and it went really well. It was based on uh, Studio Ghibli films, uh, which is, you probably know, because you were on the internet, um, a Japanese animation studio, uh, most famously headed by the director, Hayao Miyazaki. So, How's Moving Castle, My Neighbor Totoro, Kiki's Delivery Service, Princess Mononoke etc etc uh, so last week was crazy and <laughs> I did that all weekend and I uh, strangely made different jewelry for each day of the con for myself and I did it the morning of this is one of them it's a necklace and it says a heart's a heavy burden yeah so that took up a lot of my weekend I didn't get a lot read last week but because of that I got to take off a day this during this week and I went to a Degas exhibit at the Museum of Fine Arts in Houston, and I saw Deanna Rayburn talk at Murder by the Book. If you have, and I've said this before, if you have a local indie bookstore in your town, you're very lucky and you need to check out, hello puppy, um, hello other puppy, uh, if they do any author signings because you can, you can be your favorite authors and you can support local businesses and local small bookstores, which is super important. Uh, so I saw Deanna and I got to meet a Twitter friend of mine, Alyssa, and it turns out she lives really close to me. I thought she lived on the other side of Houston, but no, she lives like 20, 30 minutes away from my town and uh, she has brought her kids to my library before. So the world is a handkerchief. Uh, yeah, so long story short, I am reading Deanna's new book. It's called the Par A Perilous Undertaking. It's the sequel to um, A Curious Beginning, which is the first in her new Veronica Speedwell series, which are awesome and I would like in Veronica Speedwell. Not exactly like, but if you enjoy Franny Fisher, uh, the Netflix series or the books by Carrie Greenwood, you will love, you will love Veronica because take all of Franny's like you know, devil may care attitude and take her out of the 20s and put her in Victorian England and uh, make her an orphan and a butterfly hunter and you will enjoy it, I think. Oop, I can't carry it that way, can I? Here we go. So yeah, I'm reading that and I just started The View from the Cheap Seats, which is Neil Gaiman's uh, new-ish nonfiction set of essays and speeches and stuff. And I waited for the audiobook of it because Neil Gaiman reads them to you and if you can have Neil Gaiman talk to you or read to you, you need to do that. So uh, it was really neat starting it because one, it's all really inspirational. It makes me want to go sit down and write. And so does, so did like listening to Deanna talk on Wednesday. Um, but also the first two, three speeches I've actually heard him read in person. So either uh, at a couple of different events that I've seen him at. So yeah, it was really, really neat and an honor to realize that I'd listen to them, him say those in real life. Uh, I'm also rereading for the Meat Mystery Book Club, we're rereading uh, the first in the Maggie Hope series by Susan Elliott McNeil, and I know I did a video about that last year when I read it the first time, um, but it's called Mr. Churchill's Secretary, and it's a really awesome series of mysteries about a mathematician named Maggie Hope who is in London, I'm an American, who uh, 
is in London during World War II and she works for Mr. Churchill and she becomes a spy. I'm really, I've only read the first two books and I really love them. And Susan and I are friends on Twitter because that's where I live, is Twitter. So yeah, that's what I'm reading this week. Tell me what you were reading and what's inspiring you this week. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend.